it's time to get hand sonics from around the entire world. Today, I have the privilege to be interviewing Jamie Gallagher. Right, Jamie, how you doing? I'm doing so good. You have so much energy. I adore it. Why you just woke me up because it's like <laughs> 8 p.m. here in Israel. I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, yeah. Right. Can you please share with us a little bit about yourself, your hobbies? What do you enjoy doing? A little bit about your background. Let's hear. Okay. Um, hobbies. Well, I don't have so many hobbies because I don't have so much time, but I could tell you what I would want to do if I had time. I want to start working out and that's something that shouldn't be a hobby. It should be about taking care of myself. So that is something I, I am going to actually start my birthday is half bed ER. So I think as a birthday present to myself, I'm going to bring back that love that I have for that. And then if I had extra time, I would be taking Spanish class. I love speaking Spanish. I know a little bit. Um, and so I would love to get better with that. I would love to take, even though I live in Israel for almost 11 years, my Hebrew is pretty okay, but I would love to take like better Hebrew conversational classes because that's fun. I love languages. And then if I have time, I would learn Arabic. So languages, I think, are my second hobby after wow. wanting to be very active. Yes. That's really cool. Something yeah. New. <laughs> Nobody right. ever said that before? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You worked in the CEO. How in the world did you get into such an intense job? What's the story behind you? Okay. Um, I, my father, my parents were immigrants. They came from Transylvania to Pennsylvania in 1960, in the mid 1960s um, of the previous century. And my father and mother always, always wanted us to have a great education and a great career and great jobs. I always say um, they didn't have a dream. I didn't grow up from, for me to be a balabusta. They wanted me to be a big, successful American career woman. And so I think I always knew that I wanted to work and my father loved working, was very successful and had an amazing work ethic. So I always knew that my sister and I, which she did as well, would become like career women. So um, I think it's just a love that I have. I love working, managing, being strategic, business development, sales, um, innovation, creative thinking. And uh, so I, that's what it you know, means to be a CEO and I absolutely love it. Wow. Can we just get to us what working for the CEO was like? Yeah. Oh, so are you talking about when I worked at CNN or uh, working as a CEO? As a CEO. Okay. So it, it's like, basically you do everything. Uh, everyone thinks that, oh, you know, when you work for someone else, the boss has it so easy yeah. and everyone else is doing that. Right. The boss has it the hardest everything, all the responsibility is on the shoulders. So whether it's strategic decisions for the business, whether it's managing the people that work for you and make the, making sure that they're productive and successful and happy and want to continue working for you and they're doing their best work, making sure that everyone gets paid. So that means all of the business developments and all of the sales and all the finances and just making sure you're dotting every I and crossing every T. And it's a lot of the unglamorous work not the fun stuff, but it's a lot of the heavy, important response, you know, heavy lifting and a lot of responsibility. Wow. What's something you really love about this job? Um, I love, love being creative. I love um, working with different every day with different clients or different businesses. So it keeps my creative juices flowing. I'm not always doing the same thing. I get to use all different sides of my brain. And I love actually um, managing people and making sure that the people that work for me uh, achieve their greatest potential and seeing them wow. blossom. That's really beautiful. Um, what should I call it? Now, how do you feel now that you moved on from that job? Um, so I do still do that on the side. I still keep that. So I get to have some of that, but I actually feel like now I'm doing work for the Jewish people at Aish. And even though my title is not as fancy, my title Aish is CMO. So that's the chief media and marketing officer, but I feel like that's I'm so working. Cool name. Yes, it is a cool title. I am working for a global organization, which is has branches on six different continents. And I work at the headquarters here at the Jan Family Ace World Center across from the Kotel. And I know that I'm helping the Jewish people all over the world connect to their Jewish, Jewish wisdom, Jewish pride, and Jewish identity. So that to me is the most meaningful work I could ever do. Wow. How do you deal with pressure and stressful 
situations. Zavin, 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 <laughs> Zavin, Zavin. Everything is from Hashem. Every success, every perceived failure, which is just another step toward your story of success. It's all from Hashem. And I do cry sometimes. And I feel like that's okay. It's a good release of energy. And uh, my husband always says, and Rafishal Shechter, who we follow it to her anytime, always says, you know, cry right, use the tears for Hashem. So the moment that I feel stressed, overwhelmed, I'm crying, use it, say to Helam, it goes like straight to, it's just open, Sharei Shemaim, goes straight to Hashem. And I, that's what I do when I, I cry and end up in tefillah. I love that. I really love that. Mm -hmm. And I really admire that. Thank Who's somebody you. you admire? I admire my husband, actually. <laughs> He is the most amazing partner. Everyone should look for like an Acer Connecto, somebody that compliments everything that they do. I feel like that we have such a great partnership and the things that I look at him that he does so well. I'm like, I could never do. And he's always complimenting me about the things I do that he feels like he could never do. And I just have the utmost respect for him, I think, than anyone Beautiful. in the world. Beautiful. What is your most best and crazy memory throughout your life? The out this adventure. Oh my goodness, crazy. I'm best. I, okay. Okay. Best uh, okay. So how about I just, I don't know. I can't think of the best because I thank God. I feel like such a beautiful, blessed life. But if you ask me like the best memory was probably getting a chance to introduce my grandfathers to great grandchildren. My grandmothers had already ah, passed away. Beautiful. But that, all my grandparents were survivors of the Holocaust. So for them to see from grandchildren, they had grown up from and then left Yiddish kite, you know, yeah. after the Holocaust as survivors. So I think that that was probably, probably my best and most exciting special memory. Wow. What are your dreams? What's something that you really want to accomplish? So the part of Aisha's mission is to bring 3 million Jews to be learning and engaging with Jewish wisdom, to be wow. learning Torah. So that's 20% wow. of the Jewish population. And that is my mission now. The goal is to do that by 2030. It's, it's an audacious, huge, intense like goal that I feel is attainable, but it, it's a reach. And so that, that to me would be a greatest accomplishment. Beautiful. Now, here's where the good stuff came in. Are you ready? What okay, is I'm ready. A life lesson that you can teach us. I think I said it already, that everything, everything comes from Hashem, the good and what seems to be bad. And even when you think you're in a stressful place, you are exactly where Hashem wants you to be. And to use the power of tefillah and the power of your emotions to to charge charge Shemaim, charge the heavens, to, to just beseech Hashem, to just answer our tefillahs and always daven. When you're davening, you need to think you need something for yourself. Daven for someone else that you know that needs the same thing or just daven for someone else. Don't always think about yourself and always turn to Hashem. Beautiful, okay. Jamie Geller, thank you so much for joining this beautiful one for amazing. Cover yourself interview. We'll be all here for more interviews and daily videos. Please WhatsApp the number 541-684-8581. And don't forget to elevate the plan. <laughs> to be added to the email this chat, please contact the number 541-604-8581. Eight five eight one.